Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is this month that we are going to have a total of four planets by the time we get mid-month being retrograde. Now, this becomes especially important for you, given that it is Venus retrograde now that's taking place at the very top of your sky giving you, on the one hand, a sense of direction and destiny, and yet asking you to be more deeply honest about whether or not you like the direction in which you are going. Now, even though I did speak all about the Venus retrograde season in the special horoscope, I'll just link to that in the description below. I just wanted to mention that one of the characteristics of this time is that it isn't just about what's happening in terms of Venus and love. But for you, there's a real sense of consequence as to what you are feeling and the sense of you asking that key question that Venus retrograde asks us, which is, do I love it? Now, this is a big area for this energy to be taking place in for you. And that means that this could end up being a month that truly does make an impression that adjusts your understanding of your career, of your life purpose in ways that last well beyond this month. To add to this, right around the seventh of this month, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with perception, communication, agreements, contracts. Communication really of all kind is covered here. Well, there will be a supremely harmonious connection with Neptune that I feel is just magical. It is such a beautiful energy. You have the ability, whether it is to focus your mind on your blessings, to perceive from a place of faith, or to have a synchronistic interaction, even if it's online, like a lot of us are having now, but perhaps in person as well, that can feel like it opens you to an appreciation of blessings. You add to this Mercury standing across the sky from this full moon, and there's a sense of you taking many different perspectives into consideration, having key conversations now, but also getting really excited by new ideas showing up for you now. Siblings, cousins, and neighbors might be key as part of these understandings. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 22nd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in the same part of the sky that Venus will be retrograde in by this point, having to do with career, social standing, life purpose, having to do with your understanding of the legacy that you are creating. And this new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. That does suggest solid gains opportunity that can come now sets you up very well for your future. As I look at this, I do feel like there very well may be, either it is on a personal level, you realize where it is that you're ready to begin again where it comes to your life purpose. But this can also be on a practical level, an opportunity for an interview or audition or some type of new opportunity that is being presented to you. And it looks like you've got a lot of celestial backing, not only to have it go well now, but to have this be part of securing greater responsibility, a greater sense of stability, but also setting you up for a more successful future ahead. Now, where it comes to matters of love, yes, there is Venus, of course, encouraging you to think big, but it's also that full moon that I think is going to speak to you in matters of love very strongly. That full moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune in your opposite sign. You add to this mid-month, Jupiter, slowly but surely through this year, moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with flirtation and romance. Well, Jupiter will go retrograde as well. So especially mid-month, those Jupiterian energies are especially magnified for you. And all of this suggests that you are connecting with people or maintaining connections and truly coming to new understandings in matters of heart. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you are one of the most blessed where it comes to online connections and communications being those that can lend themselves to 
love and greater love in your life. At the very least, it'll have you believing that there is love available to you. If it is that you are just starting to date someone, I do think that it is through maintaining companionship and communication that love continues to grow. Of course, we do have that confusing energy of Venus retrograde that I spoke of in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. I'll link to that below. I might have said that already. But just know that even though the sense of direction may not be clear, where this is going, what it's meant to be, that may not be so obvious right now, or just when you think you know, you may realize perhaps not as much. There's still that ability to connect, to communicate, and to understand each other that can strengthen the way forward. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I just love the companionship energy of this time. I love how strong the love feels as well. It is possible around the full moon that you and your partner have a discussion and have very different ways of seeing a certain matter. Might even not be on the same page necessarily, but there is also understanding there. And by navigating this time, it brings you that much closer together. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here. But I'm actually going to say Jupiter going retrograde. I actually think that's going to be a beneficial energy to you. It's going to awaken your creative juices. It's going to awaken your desire to have fun, even as you are being asked to be more reflective, to look more deeply within. At the same time though, there's this part of you that is understanding the value of enjoying your life. It is the reconnection that matters now. And that alone ensures that wherever you are, you will find a way to bring joy there. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Venus retrograde special horoscopes and so much more all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.